We've come from all over. To play for Penn State. We've seen what it takes to get to the top. Penn State's going to Philadelphia! We followed that path. For the glory of Old State. Let's go! Let's go, Nate! Let's take it to the house! Lady Blyan basketball is... Energy. Pride. Strength. Leadership. Fight with some fight and some determination. Find ways to win. Grit. Sacrifice. Focus. Sweat. Passion. Family. To become number one. One, two, three. Lady Lion. We must play as one. This is Lady Lion Basketball. And you're watching Courtside with Coquise. One of the most memorable days in a young basketball player's life is when their college career commences. For some, it's their first time being away from home. It's also a chance to compete at the highest level and earn a world-class degree. Coquise Washington and her coaching staff welcomed four fantastic freshmen to the Lady Lion family during the new student arrival weekend this past June. I'm glad to see her so close to home and how encompassing the university has been to our family. I'm watching this curry chicken salad. It's really good. She has her own catering business. She has to share. No, 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 no. Thank you. Well, we got okay. it on tape. See? We have to share. See? This is our after y'all the hardest part is she's actually leaving but to have the little night talks when she come in but other than that something new for her to grow up to be a young lady today is really exciting for me because i've been committed for a while now and every time I come here, it's like, when am I gonna get dropped off? So today's the day that I get dropped off. And it's exciting for us too, for the same reason. She's been committed for so long, and so now she's here and we're comfortable and we're excited for her. We're really excited about this opportunity for her to allow her to just grow up and, and to be on her own. Now it's time for her to go and make us all proud and we're confident that she'll do exactly that. It's hard for players being away from home. Sometimes it's even harder for the parents. Me and my mom are really close. She's like my best friend, so preparing myself to separate from her and be so far away, we always talk about, I'm gonna leave. So, you know, just we keep that in mind so that it's not as hard the day that it comes. I am proud of her and... I'm excited. It's a beautiful moment. I, I can't express it. I can't put it into words. It's an awesome feeling. I'm nervous, but I'm excited for everything that college is going to bring me. It's my first time being on my own, so that makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just an amazing moment for me. I'm just really excited. We are Fierstay! <laughs> As the freshmen adjusted to leaving home to join the Penn State family, the annual cookout with Coquise was the perfect opportunity to get to know the Lady Lion faithful. Today we're having a big picnic and we have all the season ticket holders and all our fans who love and support us all season long and we're here having a great time. This is such a great turnout. The one lets our new freshmen introduce themselves and, and tell you a little bit about themselves. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Ashanti Thomas. I'm a freshman from Lexington, Kentucky, and I'm a center. I love the fact that the coaches wanted to develop me more as a woman and as a basketball player because I'm only caring about basketball, and they have a great medical school program and always wants to be a doctor. I'm Jay Williams. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm a freshman. I'm a forward, and 
As of right now, I'm majoring in broadcast journalism. Hi, my name is Amari Carter. I'm a freshman guard from Washington, D.C., and as for my major, I'm still undecided. Hello, my name is Tanaya Page. I'm a freshman guard from Chicago, Illinois, and I am undecided in my major so far. It's a great feeling. The fans love to talk with us, ask us questions. So for us to be able to have a conversation with them and see how they're feeling, where their heads are at, it's just a really good time, a really good environment just to get to know the people who support Lady Lawn Basketball. It's always fun when our fans can kind of see us laid back and get a chance to see our personalities and see who we are. Being a part of our family and, and fellowship together is, is important. How are you? Welcome to Penn State. Coming up, the team grows as two new Lady Lions are added to the roster. And senior transfer Brianna Banks looks to make her presence known on the court after sitting out all of last season. Expectations are high as the season begins. We want to win every game. Really not that complicated for us. We want to be our best. Court side. We play for you. We fight for you. It's all for you. Join us in our fight against breast cancer, the 10th annual Pink Zone at Penn State, Sunday, January 17th at 2 p.m. in the BJC. For tickets, call 1-800-NITNEY. The transition to college basketball for the talented freshmen include their first intense summer morning workout. Everybody has told me that there's no way you can expect it's about to come. So it'll be hard no matter what. Go, 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 fast as you can, fast. Move your feet faster, faster. Find ways to win. Here, go. He's gonna win. Through me, through me, through me, through me. I know how hard you play. You gotta train that way so you can play the way you wanna play consistently. You don't have a lot of opportunities to be perfect in life. This is one of them. Take advantage of it. Show them what champions look like. The 2015-16 basketball campaign began in October. Head coach Coquise Washington entered her ninth season and expectations are where they've always been. We want to win every game. Really not that complicated for us. We want to be our best and we want to play our best basketball. We started preparing as soon as the season ended. We didn't call it off season. We call it improvement season. Seven Lady Lions are back after a summer of hard work. They are joined by six new freshmen, including two walk-ons. I like the idea of having a walk-on, you know, somebody from the community that can be a part of the team and contribute to the team. And both Sarah and Leah have been wonderful additions. I grew up a big Penn State fan and um, obviously played sports growing up, but never imagined that I would be able to represent the school as an actual athlete. So it's just a dream come true, I would say. Lindsay did fantastic for us where she was an offensive threat and she thrived in transition games. She thrived in our up-tempo game. But one of the areas that I think she'll um, grow in this year is having a better balance um, for running the team and, and keeping the team together as well as maintaining her offensive viability. Kalia Mitchell came back. Her shot is much improved. Her confidence is, is a lot higher. Kiki Civilian, if it's possible to get better defensively, she's gotten better defensively. Now Peyton Whitted came back and, and she's playing probably the best basketball I've seen her play in her career. Candace looked like she was really making some strides last year. Do you expect a lot out of her in her senior year? Last year, she was one of the most consistent players on the team. I think she finished 14 of our last 15 games. She, you know, had double double digit scoring games. I think she can have a, a fantastic senior year. We just want to get better as the course of the season goes on and, and play our best basketball in March. The Lady Lions got their first taste of the hardwood November 1st in an exhibition game against California University of Pennsylvania. Lights are on. No doubt. 
play just like we practiced yesterday. Fast pace, do what we practice at a high level. Okay. Have fun out there. So y'all got a couple minutes to, you know, do whatever y'all do up. here. <laughs> turn up. Do what Kay said. Turn up. But come out there ready to play. All right. One, two, three. Play lives. I wasn't nervous at all. I mean, I don't. I feel like it's a basketball game at the end of the day. It's something that I've been playing for a while, so there was really nothing to be nervous about. You know, I think we're seeing that calmness, that steadiness, and that confidence from her at the point guard position. College is so much more faster. It's more physical, and you're not the best player anymore. Like, there's people that are as good as you or better than you, so you just have to remember that, and you just got to keep working hard. You can't be content with how good you are. I was really pleased with the, the effort and the intensity of our freshmen. You know, I thought Jalen had started to settle down a little bit. You know, she's a good rebounder for us and is working her way into um, being a shot blocker. And, and Amari, you know, she's just an explosive athlete, just a, a threat whenever she has the ball. Watching them play, you know, you can just see uh, the flashes and you can see the potential of what they can do. And, and I think it's exciting for our fans. They've got a little bit of a glimpse of what to expect from this, this freshman class. Senior Brianna Banks was perhaps the most excited of all to hit the court after sitting out all last season due to NCAA transfer rules. I'm just looking forward to playing with my team. I haven't really played with them, and I love them to death, so it would be kind of fun to play on, actually play on the court with them. When uh, Bree decided that she wanted to leave uh, Connecticut and, and, and wanted to transfer, I wasn't going let, to let her slip through my fingers a second time. Her stepdad and I, we grew up together, and I think on her end, there was a there was a comfort level with Terrell saying Coquise is good people, and for me, it was a comfort level knowing uh, that I knew her family. Coquise was really good friends with my dad, so she kind of like uh, eased my way on here, and then I took a visit and I loved it, so I kind of just stayed here. Growing up in a military household, her mother was sometimes deployed, and Brianna and her family moved often, and the sport she loved was a constant in her life. I mean, I've been playing since I was like two or three. It just followed me everywhere I went. I went to Germany, California, South Carolina, North Carolina, Oklahoma, and then I came to Georgia. And my mom always made sure I was on some type of team. My mom always made sure I had everything I needed, whether she was there or not. But I want to make it to the WNBA, of course, and buy my mom a car. <laughs> My mom's been asked for a Range Rover since I was like freshman in, in high school. Like since I can remember, my mom's always running a Range Rover. And every year a new one comes out and she sends me a picture of a Range Rover. Like I can't wait for this Range Rover. So you know, it's something that, that makes her happy that she really wants, so why not? The coaches step by step take me through things in practice and uh, film and everything on a daily basis to get me ready for the next level. So if anything, they're, they're the ones that's keeping me on track and making sure that I'm game ready for, for, when it's, for when it's time. It's been a fantastic experience having Bree here with us, and I'm really going to enjoy uh, coaching her. She's really inspirational. So she, she uses a lot of love in everything she says to get you to do what she wants. Coming up, two Lazy Lions catch up with friends and family as the team travels the nation with sights set on the program's 11th Big Ten title. Looking at the schedule, you can see how important family is to head coach Coquise Washington. Last year for the holidays, the team visited Georgia, home to four Lady Lions and several members of the coaching staff. We're back in Atlanta, and I say back because that's where I'm from, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm home, it feels great. And it's always a family affair visiting Coquise and Kiki Civilian's home state of Michigan. This season is no different. So far, their travels have taken the team to two states with special family connections. For one Lady Lion, the first road contest of the season against Tennessee provided a chance to play at her father's alma mater. He played at Tennessee from 92 to 95, so I actually talked to him today. He was saying it's going to be weird, you know, not cheering for Tennessee when he goes into Thompson Bowling, but um, he will be in attendance and he will be cheering for us. <laughs> well, I just basically told her, you know, to have a, have a good time. Just play the game. You know, do what you do. Uh, 
take care of your assignments. If anything happens outside of that, it just happens. One thing you can control is how well you play defense and rebound. She's doing a good job of maintaining that approach in terms of rebounding and uh, defending. Now it's just a matter of uh, continuing to grow as an offensive player and get better. I love the junior out of Swanee, Georgia. Coquise Washington trusts her and she's come back to play the best basketball of her career. It's great having him as a dad and also like a mentor because, you know, he's been through what I've been through and um, it's kind of like having two in one, like a coach and a dad. and. He's very supportive and, you know, I just always want to make him proud. Coming out of college and, you know, having her and then now to stand in here tonight and to see her play in college, I mean, it was really a special feeling and, you know, a lot of excitement. Leaving the Northeast winter weather behind, Coquise took the Lady Lions to the Golden State for a Thanksgiving classic and some much-needed sun. Spending holiday time with family is a rarity for Division I student-athletes. For senior Candace Agee, the trip was an opportunity to not only compete in her home state, but also spend her Thanksgiving with friends and family. I was home for Thanksgiving. A co expressed to me that it was just for me from my senior year, which was like awesome. I mean, I've been playing basketball since I was a toddler, and my parents have never missed a single game since I was four years old, all the way up until I graduated high school. So that was really, really tough for me and for my mom, especially not being able to be at every single game like they have been for the past, you know, 15, 16 years. It's really important for me that like, I make my, my family proud of me. And so being able to play in front of them is always a big deal to me. I think the trip back to California, it was great for, for Candace to get a chance to go back and, and play in front of her family and her friends. She had a, a nice little contingent there uh, at the Cal Northridge tournament, and they were loud. And it was fun to hear them and watch them support Candace. Well, I knew she was gonna be something special in junior high, being six for it in junior high. Mm -hmm. Most, most grown-ups are not that tall. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, she could be possibly go to school. She actually signed right here in our game room at home. It was really exciting. We had a lot of people over to watch it. Seeing your child like make all these accomplishments, it's unbelievable. These are her beautiful gold medals, U18 and U19. It's absolutely gorgeous. I appreciate because her staying way out there and we're out here, she basically raised our daughter. Mm -hmm. Even though we're right here, but she raised her daughter and she took care of her, nourished her, you know. So I really appreciate that. We're all at our best when uh, we feel a connection and we feel a relationship and we feel like uh, we're cared and loved for beyond what happens on the basketball courts. And, and so to go back and play in front of her friends and family I know she really was really happy to have that experience. Congratulations to the 2015 national champion Penn State women's soccer team. The Nittany Lions are the first Big Ten conference team to win the NCAA Women's College Cup. Erica Walsh having done such a great job with this program. This is the sixth different Penn State team to win an NCAA title since 2007. The 17 national titles won since 2007 are the most for any school in the nation. The Lady Lions have been leading the fight against breast cancer for more than a decade. The 10th annual Pink Zone at Penn State will be held on Sunday, January 17th but events and planning have been ongoing since the fall. This is just a really great way for us to kick off um, our Pink Zone efforts for this year. We're the first program to ever wear pink uniforms. We're the first program um, to really celebrate uh, Pink Zone the way we do, and, and it's our 10-year anniversary, so we're really excited about it. We do this 
us every year. Um, we come out and we raise money for breast cancer. And it's just a really good way, it's a fun way to get people to come out and uh, spend money on something that actually is going to something that, that is a good cause. We've had a lot of people come through and a lot of children and a lot of um, parents too. And it's just been a great turnout and it's just great meeting other people in the community. Mark your calendars for Pink Zone at Penn State, Sunday, January 17th at 2 p.m. in the Bryce Jordan Center. Information on how to attend or to get involved with the Seats for Survivors campaign is available at 1-800-NITNEY. When kids come to Penn State, they come here because they want to play and they have an opportunity to play basketball at the highest level. No look past the Moore. Moore off the glass on the feed from Span is up and good. When you get injured and you have to miss games, you know, that, that just cuts into that. There was a loose ball, and I went up for the loose ball. It was right at their three-point line. I went up to grab it. I actually got the loose ball. As I was coming down, a girl was, her whole entire body was falling into my, my leg and my knee. Injuries are just a fact of college athletics. It's a fact of sports, but it's still never as easy to take and, be, and easy to go through. Amari Carter says, I'll take the three-pointer. She's known for her shooting touch. Amari Carter's injury hit me hard. Oh, I was excited. It was our first real game, and I just was ready to go out there and play. I, I hit a three. I remember that. I just remember everything was going really fast, but it was fun. Like, it was fun being out there. Here's a kid who had just come off rehabbing her other knee. She missed her senior year of high school because of an injury, and you know, she plays five minutes in her first college game and, and goes down with the other one. I was like, there's no way I tore my ACL again, like my other ACL. I was like, no way. Like, I just got back, but that's what happens. Mario and I, we, we kind of had a little silent, you know, nobody said a word. She didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. Everyone was at a loss for words. My mom was the same way. It's just like, you've been through it, so you know what it's going to be like. It's like, yeah. One of the things that's been really impressive is Amari's determination, her resolve, and her drive. I know I've been through it before, so I know I can get through it. So there's no point in dwelling on the past and what happened and looking at the injury. You just got to think about the rehab and the next thing, just trying to get back to playing again. You know, they're, they're both freaks of nature. We always call them bionic women because of how like fast they're recovering. I can't let myself down, and I have to battle myself and get my knee back to where it was because my basketball career is definitely nowhere near being over. The three-time Big Ten Coach of the Year has carefully built a team full of potential that is ready to challenge conference opponents. We are getting strong contributions from experienced and youthful players alike. Our balanced scoring attack is a measure of improvement from last season and the intensity level on defense sparks easy buckets, a key component of Coquise Washington's style of play. If we can put it all together, and I, and, I, and I do think some of that is finding our rhythm and getting our chemistry, it's been a challenge for us to develop, you know, some chemistry, some rhythm. You know, we, we look like we're on the, the upward swing in terms of being healthy. The Big Ten season begins with Northwestern coming to town just in time to celebrate the new year. Happy holidays from all of us at Lady Lion Basketball. Thanks for going courtside with Coquit. Courtside. My favorite holiday song is the entire Justin Bieber um, holiday album. So, when I was 16, my parents bought me like a Nerf inch strike, and it was like this big, and I just like terrorizing my little brother with it for a whole year, so that was, that was a good year for me. Happy holidays from Lady Lion Basketball. <laughs>